For day 17 of our Nocturne well, today, we're going back to the 1970s and rugby, actually. My father was always a very keen rugby player. When I, from when I was very small, I'd go along to Bristol Saracens when he was getting his ear bitten off or his teeth kicked out or something like that as he was uh, playing. I always remember people in a, in a ruck shouting, mind his teeth, mind his teeth, from a very early age, very impressionable young lad that I was. By the time I was at school, um, I also started playing rugby as well, but I was never particularly good, to be honest. But in 1975, I was the scrum half for the Montgomery of Alamein um, school team. I'm their bottom bottom left, uh, and this is a special request from uh, Ross Bendel, who's actually sitting uh, bottom right here. Uh, he has slightly less hair than this uh, today, I believe. Um, but we were coached by a guy called Mike Glogg, who, uh, who's, who's at the back uh, here. Um, and uh, he was, or well, he went on to great things in rugby actually, but he, called, he created a fantastic team at that school. We were a comprehensive school, 1973 was the first year that school had been a comprehensive. Previously it was a secondary modern, um, not a grammar school or anything, but he took us um, and we went and we played at uh, all the public schools in the, in the area, uh, did very well against them. In fact, the county team was full of uh, players uh, from this comprehensive school ahead of a lot of the, uh, the top uh, public schools in the area. Um, there was a slight sort of postscript to this, which is that uh, about three or four years ago, my youngest son was also a very good um, rugby player, was playing for Sussex against Hampshire in Basingstoke. And uh, we went down to the ground, and as I was walking across the pitch, I saw this elderly gentleman coming towards me. Um, and I looked close and I thought, that's Mike Glogg, our old rugby coach. And there he was at at least 80, if not a bit older than that even, uh, still involved in, in youth rugby, still involved in helping to create the next generation of rugby players, still as enthusiastic as ever. Um, he didn't actually remember me, which is not surprising because I wasn't particularly good, but he did remember quite a few of these other guys and he told me something about some of them. So um, it was happy days. Uh, as I said, I was no good at it, but I used to quite enjoy it anyway. So the 1975 Montgomery of Alamein school rugby team, um, so we would have been 13 years old.